Welcome back to The Division 2. I have been asked by a few people to try speed running a mission. This isn't going to be where I sit there for 10 hours and do speed run after speed run. I'm going to do one run, see if I can improve my time. 16 minutes 22 on American History Museum. I know I can definitely do it faster. So what I'm going to do is run the Pestilence on my current build and it's just going to have to be challenging. There are no leaderboards on this mission for Heroic. I don't know if there are for the other missions at all. But we're going to jump into the mission and and see what we can do so i've set it to challenging enemy level 40 and it's american history museum there's just one big problem with this though and that's the fact that two runs are never going to be the same on this game i could run in here right now and in this first section before we go into the building there could be two elite gunners i could then restart the mission go back in and there could be none so it's going to be tough as, as i said pestilence i'm going to be using and let's just see what happens. 16.22 is the time to beat. And I'm hoping I can get some hits and actually pass the stacks off. I'm not relying on them, but I'm hoping the stacks from the Pestilence can help out. And it's solo, so there's not going to be anyone here that can shoot an enemy and take the stacks away. Where's this guy? Why are you in here? Come on. This is literally my first run. I haven't tried speed running this up until now, so it's not going to be as fluent as it possibly could be. And obviously, I'm going to try and talk through it because I don't want you guys to be just watching me play the game. Like I, I would like to actually talk to you at the same time. I feel fairly confident in beating 16 minutes 20. Where did it pass the tick to? Huh? I'm gonna fucking... Oh my god. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna restart the whole thing. Oh, you had to get stuck around that fucking side. It just, it goes to show how bad survivability is. To, I can't survive challenging whilst running around like a headless chicken. And I've got a lot of armor. Right, what I'm going to do this time, because obviously the M1A is a lot more powerful. I'm going to try it with this. Like, the pestilence is good for the ticking, but I'm just going to give it a go and we'll see what happens. It feels a lot faster this time around. A lot faster. Right, we're back at this dreaded section. I've got 20 seconds now for my drone to come back. Okay, it feels a lot cleaner. See, I don't have time to sit around and wait for you lot to get out of cover. Why am I being absolutely levered? You run all the way to the gun. Look at them all. Oh, 
Ooh, that was a nasty headshot. Okay, I've cleared that area. Let's crack on. Come on, come on, come on. Immediate medical assistance needed. Up on camera again. Forget about that turret. Wait, why is the heavy out already? Is this last enemy? I don't know what you're doing, creeping. Looks like you got two sons reinforcements headed your way. North or south side? Both. Heavier concentration to the south. With all those gates sealed, the north exit should be closer. Is that it? Jesus, that was easy. That corridor, the, the, that run through that corridor, is probably the easiest, fastest I've ever done. Run to the boss section. Peek me, Briggs. Boss is dead. Let me break free. Can't hit him. Oh, come on. I could flick you and you would die. Where's the enemy? You're all the way under there. Oh, come on. You're oh. All these extra seconds. There we go. Mission complete. That was faster than 16 minutes. Let's have a look. <laughs> 857 oh my god I, I i think i could actually beat that i might come back and try it again the m1a was definitely the way to go i like i originally thought the ticking damage and the stacks that transfer from enemy to enemy i thought that would help with the pestilence but there was just too long reloads and there was a lack of accuracy, the stacks weren't dealing enough damage, there were a lot of negatives in running the Pestilence, whereas the M1A has got solid damage output, 
It's a real shame that the devs feel the need to just nerf stuff in PvE. 857. Where does that... I was like 12,000 and something. Where does that now sit me? I'm not going to be anywhere near the top because of glitches. But let's have a look. Uh, is that challenging? Yeah, solo time. 362. I have gone from 12,000 and something on the leaderboards to well within the top 500 in the world for fastest runs. Legit, no glitching, no nothing like that. The fastest time is like 4.52. I'm not saying the person glitched or anything. It's an incredibly fast time. I do think I could knock an extra 25 seconds off that. Like if I did it more and more, and like the, the more I did it, basically the more efficient I would get with the mission. And I, I think I could knock an extra, I'm going to say I can get it down to eight and a half minutes. And where would that put me at this current time? If I could get it to, let's just say, eight minutes, 29 and a half seconds, I'd be in the top 180 in the world. I think that's definitely possible. But on that note, I'm going to leave the video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments. And is there a leaderboard where you are ranked high in the world from a legit run? We won't include glitches in it because glitches, I was like fourth in the world for the raid. So legit times, what's your best leaderboard position on this game? That's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.